Drake was a great investment. Hey. He was. I know every time, every time he about to drop an album, I know everybody is sitting around the table like, oh, yes, it's about time to, to eat. Check. It's time to eat. Birdman, like, I man, I can, pay Bur I can pay Lil Wayne back, and we can all be a family again. Ah! He said Louis bags is changed for body bags. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, he... He murdering niggas. Don't that relate? And he paying for Don't the Don't you think that relate to something? When X got shot? Possibly. That, that shit make you want to do something you're not supposed to do. You don't want to. If a nigga come creeping on you with his window halfway cracked like on Baby Boy listening to that song with just the instrumental... Nigga, you might want to run in the house. Because you don't know what's about to go down. Ricky! Ricky, no! It's always a great time when a black American reacts. What's up, YouTube? It's Justin, and today we have a black American reaction. Yes, we have a black American reaction to Drake's new album, Scorpion. Now, you know, this album is a side A, side B album so we have a bunch of songs to listen to now which way do you guys think drake is gonna be going like with this like is it gonna be like on the same thing as usual where it's like uh, a little bit of love songs mixed with some reggae love songs with still a rap kind of vibe on it or is he gonna be spitting bars since he never got to fully get back at Pusha T. Will he be throwing some slugs? Because we know, like, the full album is not going to be about him, but it might be something in there. Today, I have a special guest. So, can I get a drum roll, please? Yes, Drake's brother. What's up, y'all? It's Cedric. Yes, and today, we're going to be reacting to a couple different songs off the album, Side A, Side B. Now, you know it's like 45 fucking songs. So, we're going to get into the first one, the intro, Survival. First, though, subscribe, like this video, and turn on your notifications, because it's always a great time. When a black American reacts. I've been waiting on this. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right, that boy said he been waiting. He been waiting. He been waiting because y'all been doubting him. Hey, he, he, he about time. to get in your ass. <laughs> really. Addressing the crown is broken in pieces, but it's more in my possession. There's a whole lot in my possession. The crown is broken in pieces, but it's more in my possession. Is he talking about Pusha T battling him and crushing him? Hmm. Do you really love what well, that short of being questioned? My mouth rush more is me with four different expressions. Who's giving out this much return on investment? After my run, man, how is that even a question? Drake was a great investment. Hey. He was. I know every time, every time he about to drop an album, I know everybody is sitting around the table like, oh, yes, it's time to, to eat. Check. It's time to eat. Big old check. I know we about to run it up. I could. Money so tall. Birdman, like, oh, man, I can, pay Bur I can pay Lil Wayne back, and we can all be a family again. <laughs> You talking about when him and P. Diddy got into that fight and they said P. Diddy had slapped the shit out of Drake. I don't know, man. That's just what we heard on TMZ. But he addressing it. So that means that the fight did happen. Somebody why didn't why nobody had that on camera? That would have been a great fight. You probably could have got paid off that. You probably could have got maybe like five hundred thousand to see Drake fight. I 
and that's just the beginning. I'm pretty sure we got a label, I'm still independent. I fell back a hundred times when I don't get the credit. Seen this movie a hundred times, I know where it's headed. Realize someone gotta die when no one are dead it. Niggas gambling with they life for some kind What you think he mean? He said gambling with nigga, gambling with life. So that means on, on that verse, uh, when he said somebody gotta die for niggas to get it, that means, hey, I had to stop this push of TB because it was yeah. going to go too far, nigga. Somebody going to get it. And you was going to get hurt fucking with a Degrassi. Like school. Nigga, we'll go post them, nigga. People always pushing light skinned people over the edge until they hop in that bitch with a chopper and they ain't gonna be crying, push a T. Content, that's the type of my mollies pop niggas. House on both coasts when I live on the charts. <laughs> I have tea with the stars nigga. and I swim with the sharks and I see in the dark. Wasn't as cold at the start. Think my soul has been marked. There's a hole in my heart. Yeah. There's a hole in his heart. This is live. This is lit. This is really lit. It's like a it's like a calm vibe. I feel like I'm Drake's dad and I'm like sitting on the couch looking into like my 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 balcony and I'm just smoking a cigar cuz I know I'm about to get in somebody's ass. It's just the intro. Smoking my good old cigar. Got my mustache down to my half lip. And I got me a good old Steve Harvey suit on. Nothing better. Nothing better. I was about to, man, I thought about it. It's unsettling to talk about it. Free all of my niggas that they caught with it. RIP my niggas that they caught without it. This just the end. That is RIP to his friend, man. His friend had got, like, shot all in the front of his apartment complex. So that's what he mean by that verse. That means Drake is putting a lot of factual stuff out here. So this means he's probably going to be spilling everything that's been going on recently. It's about to be fire. It's about to be raw. It's about to be fire. Intro, let me not get ahead of myself. This is God's plan, young man. You said it yourself. Always got an ace up my sleeve for whatever was dealt. Daddy got suits like Bernie Mac. He dresses himself. I stopped. <laughs> Bernie Mac. He got suits. Y'all know them Bernie Mac, Mac suits. How many of y'all done seen Kings of Comedy before? Write down in the comments below. I know you done seen Kings of Comedy. Yeah. Big baggy suits. His daddy ain't nothing wrong with daddy. You hear old school player. He ain't got to wear skinny pants. Maybe he wasn't a skinny man back in the day. He didn't wear that on Soul Train. Drake's dad looked like he would never dance on Soul Train. He just had like two white bitches and be posted up in the corner. Hey, uh, pretty ladies. <laughs> Hell no. I passed myself and I started feeling myself. Now I gotta deal with all this drama and deal with myself. I ain't even have to cut the tie, it's seven itself. This just the intro, let me not get ahead of myself. Hey. Yeah, that was lit as fuck. That was just the first song. That's Drake's survival on side A. You know what I'm saying? That's the first, Sorry. just getting into it. I, it's about to be raw. It's about to be rough. How you feel about this? It's going to be nasty. It's going to be a crazy album. It's going to be crazy. Halfway down here, we got mob ties. We're going to see what this about. From the beginning, this sounds like he's about to... He about to he about to lyrically assassinate this track. This could be. It's gonna be dangerous. And this mob type. Ooh. This how hard. <laughs> Ooh. That how hard. You gotta do the coyote for it. Ooh. This how hard. This how hard thing to be. Banger of the summer? He said Louis bags exchange for body bags. Mm -mm -mm. 
I mean, he he murdering niggas. Don't that relate? And he paying for Don't the Don't you think that relate to some when X got shot? Possibly. Has something to do with it? I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I didn't say that, guys. <laughs> you don't think so? I don't know. I'm not going to put those allegations on anybody. But. Let's get back to it. Ain't none of that dissing me and then want to come back like, hey, man, we brothers. You half black and I'm all the way black. We are black brothers. Nah, nigga. It's none of that. Nah, nigga. You didn't want to be my friend when you was trying to hold me. Don't try to be my friend now. F niggas. Hey, sick of these niggas. Sick of these niggas. Hire some help. My bitch is Chanel now. Nah. Your bitch in the spot. Yeah, and he shook. Did he say I'm a dada? Like I'm a dad? Could he be claiming his child? Is Drake now musically claiming his child? Did we put him on blast to the point where he had to claim his own child? Sick of these niggas. <laughs> Please don't let them fool you, I don't care how they look. Heard all of the talking, now it's quiet, now it's shush. 20 for 40 million, like she Standing over coughing with a hammer and a nail. Two for 40 million? Does that mean like he gave him 20 million each time he sold each two CDs? Live. A little bit of flex on you. A little bit of flex. Big flex. Shit right here. We're not playing this song. This is some real mob tie shit. This is a this is a banker. Too late, Ooh, this hard. Hey. 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 That hoe just make you wanna do some do some shit you not supposed to do. It's that mob tie shit. That that shit make you wanna do something you not supposed to do. You don't want to. If a nigga come creeping on you with his window halfway cracked like on Baby Boy listening to that song with just the instrumental, nigga, you might want to run in the house because you don't know what's about to go down. Ricky! Ricky, no! Oh. oh, yeah, man. How do you feel about that song? I'm finna grow my beard out and just... I could have been Drake on that album, just... Yeah, you look like Drake's stepson. Yes. All right, we about to get into a song on the side B, which is called March 14th. Now, tell them why this might be a good song. Hey, March 14th, it might, hey, a lot happened, must, a, lot of, a lot must have happened on March 14th. That's all I'm going to say. Let's... He could have been fucking, he could have been. <laughs> That could have been the day he got his baby mama pregnant, March 14th. And then she had the baby. So that would mean April, May, June, July, October. Oh, October. I don't know. Let's get into it right now, though. Hey, from Sound like jump. a little bit of SWV or some like old school R and B like, yeah. It sound like he about to he just he about know, to just freestyle sitting and in flow. a big old mansion about to he drinking like a nice little glass of expensive dark liquor about to hey about to do some some craziness. He used to tell me all it takes is one time and all it took was one time. Shit, we only met two times, two times. And both times were nothing like the new times. Now it's rough times. I'm both times was nothing like the new times. He only fucked her once. Maybe twice. Got her pregnant. I'm sure she was like, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I have finally won. I have won. 
I have one, one. I ended up as a co-parent. Always promised a family unit. I wanted it to be different because I've been through it. Got lost swimming in that booty. <laughs> but her booty is about from one end of the street to the other. Nigga, she is dragging a wagon. And Drake just got caught up. Just stayed in there a little too long. Too long. And now he is a single father. Uh, he said he basically sound like he's saying sounds like a great dad he gonna be a great dad i'm gonna be the best pappy you ever had it's time to let drake it's time to for you to follow in your dad's footsteps it's time to grow your mustache down to the bottom of your top lip Time to grow suits. up. I promise if I'm not dead, then I'm dedicated. This is the first positive DNA we ever celebrated. I can't forget the looks on their faces. Got the news of Miami that now we all got one. This is a poem. This is one day Drake's child will look back on this and say, I was greatly loved and appreciated. This is heartfelt. This song makes you want to cry if you probably never had a dad before comment below if you cried when you heard this if your daddy wasn't there comment below <laughs> they're on the same time he's a stand up and that's how you're gonna be when it's time to man up october baby for i life lessons as a man he giving life lessons in here like this is something he gonna be able to take with him forever this is this is a real heartfelt song Weeks you're supposed to come in town. Hopefully by the time you hear this, me and your mother will have come around instead of always cutting each other down. God what Baby right. mama drama. Baby mama drama. Mm -hmm. I have no words for that. Well then, I got a good feeling. You got a good spirit. This is a great vibe. You know what I'm saying? If you just had you a kid, get you a cigar, light this up, and, and just listen to March 14th. It's gonna put you in the zone. I, I feel like Drake been taking lessons from DJ Kelly. Great song. This is Drake going to church on this last song. About to pass out. Come on, the catch the Holy Ghost. Pass me a prayer cloth and a fan. Cause he taking out. us to church. It's going from boys to men. That's gonna be the next. Boys to men is gonna be the next name of his next CD. Growing it from a boy to a man. March 14th. See, I told you. March 14th was the day he got caught in it and he got her pregnant. I told you. I told you. I told you. No one to guide me. I'm all alone. No one to cry on. This is real. Nice, good, soft Drake at the real end. soft. Had to close it out. Uh, this is more in the jazz selection part of music. Maybe R&B slow and sensual at the end. Uh, it just took a took a very drastic turn into soft love. I feel like you should have had SZA on here. Or SZA? SZA? SZA. Yeah, man. So that was March 14th. Very heartfelt song. You know what I'm saying? That was a little preview of side A, a little preview of side B. How do you feel about that? Hey. The album? 
Oh, it's fire. Oh, it's fire. Oh, it's fire. But the two we done been all hey. through. We done been to the. We done been to the front. We done went to the mm-hmm. middle. We done stopped in the middle, and then we had to park it at the bottom. Now we gonna. I'm gonna I'm go through these individually, but I'm just giving you a preview of how fire Scorpion is. Yes, Scorpion. So you feel like it was good overall? I give it a ten. He gives it a ten. A he's, ten. he's a Drake stand. Not just because I'm light skinned either. He is Drake's brother. No. Drake's cousin. Ten. He is fake Drake. No. Uh yeah, subscribe and like this video. Turn your notifications on so you can know every time a video is dropping. And stay tuned for the next episode of Black American Reaction, nigga, where it's always lit.